started in the area of prostate cancer when I initiated my PhD. My PhD was specifically in the area of exercise science and prostate cancer. My area of research is in exercise oncology. Well, Movember funding allowed us to basically create a research program in exercise and prostate cancer. Our work uh, really has important implications in, in terms of uh, helping patients cope with toxicities and adverse effects from therapy, such as the loss of muscle. Men, they lose muscle very quickly. They're expected to lose about 1.5 kilos of muscle, not body weight, but muscle, which is a very important tissue you want to preserve. Exercise can reverse the loss of muscle. So instead of losing muscle, they can actually gain muscle without having testosterone because testosterone is suppressed during therapy. Exercise is probably the only single modality that can target a number of different specific physiological outcomes to patients. Exercise improves quality of life, improves mental health, improves sexual health, which is a major issue for men with prostate cancer. We work with men with prostate cancer on a regular basis and to see the outcomes and the results from what we do in terms of improving the quality of life, it's overwhelming and it's certainly extremely rewarding. Uh, what we do has major practical and clinical implications to patients. I like to see in, a, in the future men, all men in Australia and internationally being able to have access to an exercise program to facilitate their recovery and improve their long-term quality of life and longevity. As a researcher, uh, we really want to thank the one million moles out there raising funding for Movember, which is a critical initiative. Uh, without funding, we can't really undertake research. So this is a fantastic contribution that you are uh, giving to researchers and to the community.